Welcome to Hell Plus News. We are going to discuss um, uh, two of the Hell Plus members. Actually, first we're going to discuss Hell Plus News member Holbert Collins. He's been a member since 2010. He's from Grundy, Virginia, and lives currently lives in Grundy, Virginia. Um, he had a question for our first topic regarding religion. His question is, what is the difference and similarities of religion or religions, especially between Islam, Judaism, and Christianity? Fellas, what are the difference and similarities of religion or, or religions, especially between Islam, Judaism, and Christianity? Well, the, the differences are basically uh, a matter of timing. As uh, Judaism uh, came out of a, a a polytheistic religion it just kind of was over time edited down into a monotheistic religion. Christianity comes out of that um, with a really ham-handed attempt to try and fulfill um, Old Testament prophecies but a lot of the like uh, Luke and Matthew particularly mm -hmm. didn't seem to understand the the older Hebrew so they they kind of went out of their way to fulfill prophecies that were already fulfilled in the Old Testament like with Moses where they 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 really just misunderstood certain words, and that, that's where you get things like the virgin birth. And it's why Matthew and Luke, because they're written about the same time, don't agree with each other at all about the time frame of the birth or anything like that. Um, and then you have Islam comes out of those two religions about 7th about seventh century, 700 AD, somewhere around there. Um, and there you have uh, the prophet Muhammad. Was the um, in Islam, there's Abraham, Moses, um, Jesus, and Muhammad. Those are the four great pro prophets, and they, they kind of put uh, Muhammad ahead of all of them because he was the last great prophet. Um, it's about as far as I got into the Quran was when I realized that it's basically a book saying that uh, God didn't like the way the uh, the the New and Old Testament of the Bible was translated but they got all you know all, a lot of the details wrong so the angel gabriel appears to the prophet muhammad and tells him he's going to rewrite the bible and he says no so the angel uh squeezes him until blood is coming out of his ears and nose and such and so he agrees under duress and this, to is, go islam. To this. this is islam and, and and the great thing about this is that, that he has to spend years memorizing this new bible the, the quran because he can't read or write so god in islam is so incompetent that he can't find a guy who can read and write to write his bible or write the quran so that's about as far as into it i like what i like uh, no i can't you know <laughs> so so what about Judaism? Are you familiar with? Judaism is basically the Old Testament. It's the Torah. Yeah. But for all intents and purposes, most people understand, or most people know the stories of the Torah from the Old Testament. Interesting. Now, there are some things that, that are actually better explained from the Jewish perspective. Like, um, uh, there, there was the story of this, this warrior who, who agrees that if he wins in battle, um, he will sacrifice the first thing that comes out of his house to God. I don't know exactly what he expected to come running out of his house, but of course it was his daughter. So he, he ends up sacrificing his virgin daughter. Now, according to Christians, this guy is awesome. How is this guy awesome? Because Jesus lists him among Old Testament heroes. People that should be looked up to. So just because but, he but is to the Jewish perspective, But to the Jewish perspective, um, He's that a, just shows how immoral the uh, Jewish people got without the kings. So I mean, there's, there's a, a difference in, in philosophy. Just in reading that one story, you know, the two look at it very differently. So basically it lists... Yeah, but those are, the, <laughs> those are the differences. The similarities are th they're all following basically the Abrahamic uh, uh, god. Um, which eventually is just uh, Allah or Yahweh, whoever you want to call, yes. call them. It's, 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 the same, the same. It's, it's the same God. It's the same also. deity. And the other similarity, of course, is that it's all bullshit. Yeah. 
And, and, then, <laughs> and why do you think it's all bullshit? This is made-up stories. There's, there's, there's nothing. Haven't they found, um, I would say, artifacts and and proof well, so, in, some of it, in the Middle East? Some of it is historical, right. and some of it is fiction. The whole Exodus story is fiction. We mm -hmm. we know that from the archaeological evidence. Now. Well, what yeah. what parts they, they, are historical? I'm they, sorry. They, they haven't found. They they never found any evidence of anybody of Hebrew descent. In Egypt, or on the time frame of the pharaohs, and any of that. Well, this is genetic so, evidence, but the archaeological evidence also pretty clear that that story never happened. Yeah. That the wandering for forty days on the Sinai Peninsula never happened because it's, there would leave a group that large would leave some some trace, and there's just yeah. no trace at all. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. And but, this comes from people who actually did the archaeology, right? Trying to prove the Bible was correct. But the more you do the the more you do the actual work, the more you realize uh, these stories are just stories. So then, if um, if they're just stories, then why? And and there hasn't been any proof to back up the Bible. Why is it something that millions of people live by? It's what's the saying? It's the fear? No, it, it, it all comes down to the way you're raised. It, it's just passed down from family to family. Your parents were Christian. You're going to be Christian. Your kids are going to be Christian unless one of them That's actually fine. reads the fucking Bible. Right. And they go, man, this sounds fucking crazy. Exactly. And then, and then you've got an atheist. And then you just, yeah. but. Kind of goes from there. But, but no, the, the um, part, part, part of it is, like he says, it's just what you're growing up, what you grow up with. And children, especially young children, tend not to question things that their parents tell them. Yeah. Um, I was never. This stuff was never presented to me as fact as a as a kid. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really know the difference between like Noah's Ark and Jack of the Beanstalk. And today, I still don't really see much of a difference. I mean, they're both stories that that can't have happened, but. You know, the, the, I guess the difference is there are people who actually believe in Noah's Ark. Nobody believes in Jack and the Beanstalk. Has there been proof of Noah's Ark and Jack and the Beanstalk? Um, <laughs> there's, there's no proof that, that there was ever a giant beanstalk and that, that somebody named Jack Slade a, a giant. So then why... And there is no evidence that there was a global flood. Mm -hmm. and, and, okay, set this the evidence of a global flood aside. Right. That much water added to water, uh, added to the oceans, changes the salinity of the water and wipes out every fish on Earth, mm -hmm. or a vast majority. Yeah. Um, we're talking about, uh, the, the Bible says it, it raises above the highest mountain. You look at the highest mountain, that's about Mount, Mount Everest K2. Um, the, it would be so cold at that altitude that everybody would freeze to death. But before they had a chance to freeze to death, the air is so thin up there, all the animals, all the people would have suffocated to death first. And then there's the whole, you can't fit that many animals on a 450 foot boat. You can't fit, well, then there's the food, you know. How, how much fresh meat does a lion eat every day? And how long, how long did the flood <laughs> last too? It was it's like 40 days or something like that. Yeah, it's a lot of food. Um, so he, he, he needed a pretty big boat, and then they even list the measurements in the Bible. Uh, it rained for 40 days. I think it was like a year that the flood actually Yeah, yeah. and, and they, actually, still, they, they actually list the measurements in the Bible for like the dimensions of the uh, the ark. And it, it, the, the size of the boat, I think it's like 500 feet long it's, or something. It's 450 feet long by 75 foot tall by 45 foot wide. Yeah, and supposedly he fit every animal on earth with enough food to feed those animals for a year on a 450 foot like, boat. There's some dispute when you read the actual text. It says two, but then it says two pairs of all the unclean animals and seven pairs of all the clean animals. And then, of course, there's the big finale after the flood ends in which all plant life on Earth would be dead. So there'd be nothing for the, the herbivores to eat. Every time a carnivore ate an herbivore, there's a species gone. <laughs> you know? Yeah, good point. The people who wrote this really did not think this through. So Judaism, that is for, what is Judaism? 
uh, Judaism is basically the Torah, which uh, in, in simplistic terms is the Old Testament. Islam? Islam is the Quran, which is stories from the Old and New Testament rewritten. Christianity? Uh, Christianity is basically the New Testament and bits and pieces of the Old Testament that certain Christians want to bring out because it supports their bigoted views. And, and I'll actually post a video in the description about, you know, a lot of misconceptions regarding Islam specifically. Like the part about the 72 virgins is not in the Quran itself. It's a side story. Um, yeah, I'll post that in the description. But continue. And what are you? I'm an atheist. And you? Atheist. And me, I was born, actually, you yeah, were raised. I, I was born in the Philippines, oh. baptized as a Catholic, and raised in Valdosta, Georgia. I believe there is a God, and I believe there is also a God or a higher power. Um, what I don't believe is that you should live your life with this book, this Bible, this book, and not use any common sense. I think everyone should actually read the Bible. And you'll see that there's just so many things that are just off. As far as like... I don't know if anyone pretty much even realized the history of it as far as the thousands and thousands and thousands of pages that were missing from the Bible, but yet so many people swear to live by it. That's fine to live by it, but I don't think that you should shove it down people's throats.